Let's draw a seashell. Seashell! We're going to draw a seashell today. I'm here with Harry, and we're going to make these beautiful seashells. They're really easy to do. Um, today we're going to be using charcoal pencils, just so that you guys can see us. Um, but you can do this with regular pencil, it comes out just awesome. Uh -huh. If you want to make it darker, you can always go over with Sharpie. Yeah, I know, we have our own seashells. Whoa! <laughs> we have our own seashells today. And this is actually what we're basing on. This is one of my favorite types of seashell. All right, so that one's broken. This one's not. They're still both pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is on our page, you're gonna start with the letter C. I'm gonna make my page big. I know. I'm gonna make my big today. I'm gonna go back into it. And then what we wanna do is loop de loop around it. So we're gonna go around and around. Whoa. And then stop. Beautiful. And then from here, you're gonna connect with the letter U. Gorgeous. Now in here, I wanna make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna just come in and go. Zing. Done. Gorgeous. I love it. Now, while we're here in the black and white, let's put in the shadow that goes underneath. You can actually see it in ours, this nice shadow over here. So all it does is the mimic... Where's the shadow? Where's the shadow? Well, when you hold it down like that, you can see the shadow underneath. Oh, yeah. You can probably get, you guys can probably see it over there. So what we're going to do shadow. in shadow is we're going to mimic the shape. So from here, I'm just going to mimic this. Okay. And then mimic that. Oops. Okay. Now Very shadows big. get darker towards the object and lighter as it comes out in general. So we're going to make it darker here. And then we're going to press down um, much lighter as we get further out. So it's darker towards here, lighter towards here, darker towards here, lighter towards here. Done. That's nice. Now, what could you do to make it look a little bit less scribble scrabbly? What do you think? You could do that. What else could you use? Your fingers. So you can always use your fingers to kind of blend and take your time with it. And if you feel like it's a little bit sparse, you can use. Um, you can go back in a little bit like that, and then you can always use your fingers. There are like blending tools and stuff like that, but a finger is a great tool. Wanna try? Just a little? Nice. Alright, so now we get to do the, um, the my favorite part, which is, sorry? Fingerprint. A fingerprint? Yes, a fingerprint. You can make all fingerprints on these. Um, <laughs> so you can decorate them with fingerprints. We're gonna start with the color. Now the color, we're gonna, I'm gonna do each section as a little piece. So I'm gonna take uh, pastels. You could use colored pencils or crayons or whatever. And I'm going to do a little section at a time with color. Now when I do this, I'm going to make it darker towards this line right in here. And lighter towards that. Just like that. Nice. Alright, this is bad. do now is the last part um to my, to my favorite parts of it so we're gonna give you an eraser i have my eraser i, already did I know you blended but we're gonna blend a little bit more so this is my favorite part about these is you can just kind of use your finger as a tool and go in there and i'm gonna move my colors around i'm gonna get the layer towards the edge now again um i just figured this out and i think it's so cool you can actually erase these so what we should do is just erase on that very top. So I'm starting on the outside here. So I'm right here. What does that thing on it? Oh, art. <laughs> so, so it never gets lost. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our eraser on the outside. Now I have to hold down my paper when I do this part because I don't want to kind of get too much in line. But of course, if you mess up and I happen to erase the line you're not intending to erase, that's okay. So grab your eraser, Harry. And start erasing on the outside line. Right, I'm gonna do one final. Ooh, you made just like a sculpture. I like that. And then I'm just gonna fix any lines that I might have lost. 
when I was racing. Yeah, it's okay for me. You're good? Let me see. I got some. You could go over that line just a little bit. Yeah. Woo! That was screechy. Yeah. <laughs> that hurts my teeth. <laughs> That's a cool way of describing it. I like it. All right. You did an awesome job. All right. Thanks for drawing with us. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!